My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every week, we break down full UFC fight cards, giving you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. This video is brought to you by Bet You Play to Earn. It is the world's first online play to earn sports and esports betting game. Check it out now at betyouearn.com. That's bet, the letter U, earn.com. Next up at UFC Vegas 48, we have the co main event of the evening. We have Kyle Dawkins versus Jamie Pickett. Kyle Dawkins is 10 and 2. He's 2 2 and 1 in his last five. And that one, that no contest, was a no contest with that headbutt uh, against Kevin Holland. Jamie Pickett is 13 and 6 overall. He's 3 and 2 in his last five. Coming off a solid win just three weeks ago. And Kyle Dawkins has had a weird run as of late. He had the no contest headbutt with Kevin Holland in October. Then the rematch was booked for November. Kevin pulled out of that. So then they brought in Roman Delize, who pulled out of that. Then he was rebooked on this card against Julian Marquez. And Julian pulled out. So now Kyle Dawkins is fighting Jamie Pickett. And this poor guy has had, you know, the last few months have been crazy for him. Who he's going to fight and when he's going to fight. Kyle Dawkins is the younger brother of heavyweight striker Chris Dawkins, but they fight nothing alike. Kyle Dawkins is a very good grappler with solid clinch work and okay boxing. He averages almost two takedowns per fight, but he has a very low 27% takedown accuracy, which is a concern because in this fight, he probably needs to get Jamie Pickett to the ground. Jamie Pickett's a very big guy who normally has a massive reach advantage, but this will be the second fight in a row where he has an opponent that's pretty similarly sized as him. He uses his length to manage the range and to keep people at bay. If you look at the stats, he has a one to two strike differential. So he has hit twice as many times as he hits other people. And that's because he gets gun shy and he waits and he doesn't just always let his hands go. If Jamie manages the range and then engages with takedowns, which we've seen him use in fights like against Staropoli and in Chuck Wu, then I can see him having a ton of success here. But Dawkins is a different fighter on the ground than any opponent that Jamie Pickett has had so far. And I'm torn here because I think Jamie's the better striker, but his unwillingness to engage sometimes, can, that can be a problem, right? He can be on the wrong end of exchanges, and you've seen that with his negative striking differential. And all that does, his gun shy, all that does is give Kyle Dawkins more time to set up takedowns, right? He's not worried about getting hit in the face while coming in for a takedown, so he's going to try more takedowns. If Jamie Pickett lets his hands go and touches them up, all of a sudden, it's a different game. If we go back three weeks and we watch Jamie beat up Joseph Holmes, he had takedowns, he had decent volume, he looked great. And if that Jamie fights Kyle Dawkins, he absolutely beats Kyle Dawkins. So I have to assume that the Jamie Pickett we saw three weeks ago is going to be pretty close to the Jamie Pickett we're going to see this weekend. So I'm going with Jamie Pickett. But, you know, Kyle Dawkins, solid grappler, and we'll see what happens. What do you think? Yeah, this is going to be, this might sound stupid, but I I think that Jamie Pickett in this matchup either looks incredible, like comes out, presses forward. He mentioned, you know, the confidence of getting, finally getting that first UFC win. He feels a little bit more free now. Maybe he comes in, presses Kyle Dawkins, gets like a wild first round knockout. Something crazy happens or he's going to get taken down and just absolutely dominate. I don't think there's a much middle ground in this. I don't think it's a back and forth fight. I think Kyle either gets starched or he comes out and dominates. You mentioned the two. He's got two losses. Both of those guys are kind of people that could could neutralize the grappling Kyle Dawkins, uh, Dawkins with Phil Hawes, also a great uh, great wrestler. Brendan Allen, also a very, very good grappler. So those kind of guys kind of could neutralize what Kyle Dawkins wanted to do, and he couldn't really do the things that he wants to do, which is get the takedown, uh, get you on the ground, and, and try to submit you. And this matchup, you know, I, I like Jamie Pickett. I think he is coming back. Um, I think he is more confident and he is getting better as a fighter. I don't think the takedowns are going to be easy, but I think eventually uh, Kyle Dawkins gets to the ground. I think the first takedown he gets, he's able to get the back. And if it's not late in the round to where the round ends, I think he's going to be able to do what he does. Um, and that's uh, submit people. So I, I like Kyle Dawkins' matchup, but I, I don't love it enough to like, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to play DraftKings. I'm not going to bet on him because Jamie Pig could come out and look incredible. Stuff a takedown, really, really get after him uh, with some aggression. So I, I'm, I'm picking Kyle Dawkins' in the matchup, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold on it. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, I don't know what it is. I just, I feel like Kyle is just 
always ready to get hit. He just always seems hittable, and he's working really hard for those takedowns. And, you know, there's a lot going on there. And like I said, if this if I didn't just see Jamie Pickett look really good against Joseph Holmes, he wouldn't be my pick. But he looked good in that fight, and that was pretty recent. So I imagine the quick turnaround is something that, you know, he's going to take some of the success with him. We have no DraftKings pricing, which is very odd because this has been the co-main event for longer than some of the other fights that DraftKings put put uh, numbers on, but we do have a strike line with Monkey Knife Fight. What do you think of this strike line? I'm going to say less, less. I think Kyle gets a takedown early and really controls the matchup. Okay. So you, you, you don't necessarily think he's going to stop him. You just think there's going to be on the ground for so long. There's not going to be. Oh, I think strike. if he gets him to the ground, he's going to okay. stop him. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with that strike line because yeah, people were trashing me in the live chat saying to say Jamie Pickett's the better striker is crazy. I don't, I don't know why everybody thinks Kyle Dawkins' striking is so good. I I just don't see it. Um, you know, it's a bit it's a bit sloppy, a bit reactive, a little slow. Um, it's certainly I'll back technical. you up on that too. I, I, yeah, I'll back you up on that too. I don't I don't see it either. People because there's people in the chat like, oh, Jamie Pickett's a better. Yeah, of course he's a better striker than Kyle Dawkins. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting all bold. You're crazy for saying that, Allen. Anyway, Jamie Pickett is the pick. We don't have DraftKings prices. And if you want $50 free dollars, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit. Let us know after you do. And I'll send you 50 bucks.